As you guys just saw, I just had my breakfast and then I also did my skincare and just brushed my teeth and did like my whole little morning regimen because I'm about to go to the gym. Um, it's a little late for my liking. Um, I usually like to go to the gym earlier than this, but it's like every time I film, you know how it is filming every time it's like i never can make it out at a decent time so it's 11 30 i don't know what time i'll get there probably like 11 50 ish i grabbed a banana on the way out just to get me like extra extra full so yeah i don't think that this video is going to be more so of a sunday reset it's just going to be me appreciating the things that I'm blessed to do so I'll probably title it taking care of my blessings because a lot of the times we are so fixated on the future that we don't take the time to be present in the right now and we're just so worried about what's coming next, how successful we'll be, the blessings that we are, or we might not receive in the future. Like we don't take the time to be present and in the moment and just be grateful for that. And sometimes I feel like a lot of the times I do that. I always wonder how my future will look and I'm so worried about like jobs and being uh successful on my social media platforms and new cars and new purses and this and new that that i'm not thankful for what i have now well i am thankful for it but i don't take the time to actually thank god for those things because at one point of time in my life the things that i have is what i once wanted and it's like once you get it you get your car that you've been wanting for so long you are so happy that first few months or year and then after that you just stop worrying about it you stop checking on it you stop cleaning it you stop washing it you stop getting little cute things for it you know what i'm saying i feel like if you keep up with those things you'll just be more grateful and more excited about that particular blessing put in effort of keeping it up of course you're gonna be like oh yeah that's just my car because it's dirty you ain't been washed in months you haven't revamped it you haven't gotten yourself a new stand wheel cover you know what i'm saying so just taking out that extra time to be grateful and also take care and keep up with the upkeep of your blessings that you have now so that's kind of what i'm going to be doing in this video i'm grateful for my life i'm grateful for a house my car my body being alive breath in my body so everything that i'm thankful for and that 
I currently have now, I'm gonna be taking care of in this video. Starting with my body, nourishing it. That's what I did this morning with breakfast. Uh, my skin, I cleansed it and you know did all my little oils and serums and whatever. And now I'm on the way to the gym, which is going to help me tone up my body, which is what I want. And also the gym is kind of like a little therapy session for me because I get to go in there and release all of the things that I'm thinking about. Everything that's on my mind, I can just get on the treadmill and just run or jog or whatever. All those emotions out. So, I kind of want to do this video to just show you guys that everything that you need is right in front of you. And if you keep the faith and keep working, you know, you'll receive more. But don't forget that you are once where you pray to be. What's up y'all? So finally done with my workout. Let me take these headphones off. But yeah, finally done with my workout. Oh my god. Oh, come on. It was really, really good. Um Towards the end, I end up doing squats with like a weight. And that was the most intense part of the workout, y'all. When I tell y'all, I felt those squats from literally the bottom of my feet up until my thighs. Like, I felt it. I know my legs are going to hurt. So, I did a lot of, I guess, leg work today. I wanted to do my arms because my boyfriend's telling me that I need to go in the gym and of course do my normal but switch it up so everything could be like everything can weigh out i guess everything could look proportioned so he tells me to like do legs one day arms one day back one day whatever so i'm trying to like take his advice and do that but today i kind of fo focus on legs because all everything that was like had to do with my arms i guess I don't know people were everywhere and I just didn't feel like that so I didn't do arms today I just focused on squats and I did like the little leg lifter thingy I did a little bit of abs but honestly I can include that with arms because my arms are shaking because I literally have to pull the thing down so yeah and then I couldn't really go too crazy today because I do have lunch with my sister at two or three and it's one o'clock and i want to go home and like take a shower you know you got to eat after the gym and since we're eating at like two or three i don't want to eat nothing too crazy so i'll probably just eat like a granola bar and some grapes even though that's not heavy i'm gonna eat like an hour after that so yeah i'm so glad that i am back in the gym like i told y'all earlier it's like therapy for me and then the fact that i'm you know just getting my body in order and getting in shape it's just i don't know it makes me happy that i'm doing this for myself i'm doing all of this for me not for nobody else i want to be at my best health i want to feel good mentally and physically and i feel like coming to the gym will help me also you guys know that i've been meal prepping and also trying to eat healthier of course i'm going to indulge in like my coffee and things like that but i'm but i'm still going to be mindful of you know the things that i eat um so yeah y'all know i go out with my boyfriend a lot and we eat real real good it won't really be eating healthy but i'm not gonna be like oh i can't eat that because i'm in the gym because 
with me meal prepping and buying all those fruits and vegetables i'm eating healthier at home so me going out with him and getting a steak or chicken or whatever it's not gonna hurt me or getting an iced coffee is not gonna hurt me i mean it might but i i don't care because i'm coming to the gym and i'm putting in the work so yeah <sighs> that's that so speaking of coffee i think i think we should go get one i want to try the cookie butter latte from duncan so we're gonna pass through duncan go home take a shower and get ready for lunch so yeah let's go All right y'all so we just left duncan and we got the cookie butter cold brew and i got the cold foam on top so we're just gonna taste it okay period i don't know y'all it's not nasty but I don't taste the actual cookie butter so maybe I should have asked for more because I said can I get a cookie butter iced coffee and she was like oh do you want to do the cold brew but usually it doesn't matter if you do cold brew espresso iced coffee you still should be able to get the cold foam so I'm assuming she thought because I wanted the cold foam I wanted the cold brew because I like my coffee a little sweet this is sweet, but I can't really taste the cookie butter or whatever. I have a straw. I thought I had a straw. Oh yeah. So I have a straw from Duncan, of course, that was in my little glove compartment. I'ma try to mix up the stuff at the bottom and see if that makes a difference. Mm. ice I feel like I just wasted like because <sighs> you know how I just was telling y'all about how I'm gonna drink a coffee after the gym you know whatever whatever I can treat myself it's no problem but I feel like I just wasted treating myself because this doesn't really taste like I'm drinking anything sweet but it is what it is i'm not gonna give up on this because a lot of people were saying that it was good but the white chocolate one is hitting better than this one so i'm gonna give it another chance probably next week or something but for now it just tastes like a normal coffee it doesn't have a vanilla caramel no type of taste it just tastes like a regular coffee with regular cream and regular sugar so yeah, I am about to go home now and, oh my, what the fuck? I'm about to go home, you guys, and get ready for lunch. And then after lunch, I'll probably go, I need to go, not probably go, I need to go get my car washed on the outside. I have the wipes in here. I don't need to show y'all, but I have the wipes in here so I can wipe everything down. And then I got some new air freshener so I can put in my car so it can be smelling real good, whatever. And this is the whole point of the video to take care of the things that I already have. And that starts with my car. My car name is Luna. That starts with Lulu. Okay. Because she has been so good to me. And I'm treating her like she just nobody. Like, mm -mm, I don't like that. And I know she don't like that. So let's go home. Let's shower and get ready to start the last part of our day. So see y'all later hey y'all so it's a little bit later i am here at hawker's this is where me and my sister are gonna eat lunch at today it didn't take me that long to get here but the parking is always ridiculous so i knew that was gonna happen super popular area and it's sunday but i was able to find a spot where i just had to back my car into so thank god for having a somewhat compact car but yeah when I got home, I wasn't able to eat the granola bar. I just hopped into the shower. So my body is so hungry right now. And this is like an Asian style restaurant. So of course I'm gonna get dumplings if they have it. Of course I'm gonna get egg rolls if they have it. And then they have a lot of rice and like noodle dishes. So of course I'm taking y'all with me 
inside as well so y'all can see what i'm eating on yeah this is the nourishing part of the segment <laughs> god gave me my body and i have to replenish it with water nourish it with food and all of that good stuff so that's what we're about to do so let's go inside and let's eat y'all i should have just got out of the car look at this it is raining like are you kidding me Let's get it. Hop off a set ten passenger. This a G5. No, this not a challenger. Big one. I keep some members with me. What's up, y'all? So, finally done with eating. I'm on my way home. It went amazing. Food was good. Conversation was good. Everything was good. Um, so that was really good because I needed that. I I really, truly, honestly believe I needed that. Like. So, yeah, that went well, and now I'm about to go home. I'm going to try to cook this food real quick. Um, I was supposed to be meal prepping and all of that in this video as well, but I was asked to go out, and y'all, I don't ever go out, so it's just like, I feel like I should go. So, um, I'm going to try to cook this food real quick for y'all. You know how this gonna go because my camera's about to die y'all so i'm a girl i'll just see y'all when i get home okay so you may be wondering why are you in the bed yeah i got tired auntie is tired um if i gotta come back home and then we're gonna go back out nine times out of ten i'm not going so i just i'm just doing what's best for me and you know this video is all about gratitude and honoring yourself and i'm honoring myself by staying my behind in the bed because i'm tired and i got work in the morning so yeah and also i was supposed to meal prep for you guys but like i said i'm tired and my mom cooked so she packed me a lunch and i will be taking that for or to work tomorrow but tomorrow i'm going to extend the vlog and i'm going to make salmon pasta and broccoli for you guys just so i can have that included because you know we gotta nourish ourselves and save that money and budget and do all that so no eating out for the rest of the week because we're going to meal prep so i will be doing that for y'all tomorrow and i also am going to try the cookie butter cold brew again tomorrow give it a second chance because i got a free drink reward from duncan so my camera's about to die i'll see you guys tomorrow bye what's up y'all so it's monday happy monday and i just love duncan to retry the cookie butter latte or cold brew iced coffee whatever so i don't know about this one y'all i already took a sip of it off camera i'm gonna take another sip for y'all the cold foam itself is really really good but as far as the coffee I don't know i don't taste the because it's supposed to have the cookie butter cold foam as well as the cookie butter syrup and when i'm like drinking it i don't really taste it at the bottom so i think i'm gonna just stick with my white chocolate um iced coffee because i don't know it's not doing it for me a part of my little healthy habits that i've been doing besides the gym and everything like that is packing my lunch i packed my lunch last time with y'all in my like morning routine but i just want to show y'all what i brought so i brought these little cheddar caramel popcorn they are so good but i prefer the brand that's in sam's club it's like in a white and blue black ah, bag this is the smart food uh brand I also packed a cheese stick. Sometimes I get super snacky, so this is something that I'll probably eat like around three o'clock, four o'clock. I packed a Rice Krispie treat, and then I also packed this Kodiak cake. Well, not Kodiak cake. Kodiak protein pack chewy granola bar in the flavor s'mores it has seven grams of protein y'all know i've been in the gym so i'm trying to get my protein intake up 
and a lot of protein products have like that chalky super sweet sugary aftertaste this does not it's whole grain so it does have like a grainy taste but it's not something that you can't handle so yeah and then i also packed this white grape uh sparkling water which zero sugar zero calories zero caffeine sodium free really really good if you need like that soda effect you know sometimes i need a burp sometimes i need a good soda with my meal so for a substitution i am drinking these i got this from walmart they're like 75 cents so yeah oh see they some cannibals Eaters. they like the geek geek Drink a whole bottle, wake up and repeat. Damn. She took a look, mixed it with the chill out. Now she says she's saying 3D. Wow. I go in the jungle and ain't got a coat. I bet I come out with a me. I bet I do this shit for the fam. Cause this shit bigger than me. Yeah. Color stones in my infinity link. And in the factory masterpiece. Factory. I call him twin, could that be my brother? We got the same roller, he matching me. Nah, for real. Water on me, like the sun of sun. Carrot, sun, pointers. All these commas, I want fun, fun. Me go gunners out the Jump, we buy it all, fuck a front up, nigga, cake on me, no fun of cash, drop top, feeling like stunner, drop top, can't be play no runner, we gone, chrome my wallet, Ooh. smoke my pilot, Ooh. take three vibe to the tropics, trap it, nigga one shit. shit, I was outside just serving narcotics, narcotics, Play me that stick, nigga made one wrong move, just popping, popping, Living on broke with the whole flooded out in the hotel lobby. Foot is crowded. Diamonds be dancing like Bobby. They dance. Don't touch it. Dick like it be cocky. Don't touch it. Show them and G sit the party. We geek. Bitches gon' trend on the top. Keep trending. The way I pull up, I'ma pop it. And none of these niggas gon' stop me. Pull up. Gone. Put that shit on. Get a cup for the drip. I'm on motherfucking five. Keep low. Keep stacking your bank. I'll get bigger. Go. Never will. I throw some shit on no nigga. On take. Little nigga don't play with these niggas. No. I see the big picture. We up on these niggas. Oh. The huncho, the one you gon' call on me, nigga. Yo. I got your back. You gon' follow me, nigga. Ball. When I get up, we gon' ball on these niggas. Ball. Fuckin' shit up, cause we beat out the system. What the system? Water on me, like the sun. Of song, carrot, song, pointers. Ooh. All these comers, I won't fun, fun. Me go gunners out the jungle. We buy it all. Fuck a front.